Hello guys, Ken Clark here. I'm going to show you guys how to set up flash pattern cycling in the wheel and command software. For the sake of this video, I'm going to do it in Sencom Carbide, but this can be done in any hardware. I'm just going to grab a 21 and slide control head, and for the sake of this video, I'm going to use a light bar. Um, but you can do this on a inner edge as well, or even your outputs if desired. So, simple file, we're going to go forward. The first thing that I like to set up is the virtual inputs that I'm going to use for the cycling. You need to decide how many virtual inputs you want to use, um, and each one you use is going to be one pattern in your cycle. Uh, I think the most popular one is three, so I'm going to name my virtuals cycle one, cycle two, and this is just to make it easier on myself, and cycle three. So. For cycle one, the first thing you want to do is decide what your first pattern is going to be when you play it. So we're going to go to our light bar. I'm not going to be creative at all. I'm just going to, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to highlight my entire bar. My first pattern is going to be an action flash. It's going to alternate. Um, that's it. For my second pattern, I'm going to grab CA action one, sure. And for my third pattern, I'm going to do, uh, what's a fun one? We'll do double flash 75. So I've got my pattern set up. Now the next thing you want to decide is how long do you want each of these patterns to play? So we're going to go to the properties for cycle one and we're going to make this a variable timer. Uh, I'm going to set it for five seconds. So what I'm saying is right now when I activate this cycle my action flash alternate is going to play for five seconds. Now for my second pattern, just for the sake of consistency, I'm going to make this, again, a variable timer for five seconds. So now my second cycle is going to play, what pattern did I put? Uh, California Action 1. For cycle three, again, it's going to be a variable timer. And again, I want it to play for five seconds. Now we want to set up how the cycle actually works. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use switch nine to activate my cycle. So with switch nine selected, I'm gonna go into my inputs view, virtual inputs, and set it so the on state of switch nine is going to set my cycle one to go to next state. What this does is when I press switch nine, um, the virtual input named cycle one is going to play for five seconds. Now. The next thing we need to do is set it so when cycle one ends, it needs to activate cycle two. So I'm going to select the off state of my cycle one virtual input and set cycle two to go to next state. And now we're gonna do the same thing for cycle two. So I'm going to select cycle two. When cycle two's five seconds runs out, it needs to activate cycle three. So again, cycle two, off state, Cycle three, go to next state. And now, since I'm only going to do three, what I need to do now is to set cycle three, when it runs out, it's five seconds timer runs out, it needs to reactivate cycle one. So right now we've set it so when switch nine is on, it is going to activate my cycle one virtual. When that virtual, uh, when that virtual's timer runs out, it's gonna activate cycle two. When cycle two runs out, it's going to activate cycle three. Now, we need to stop the cycle, so the easiest way to do that is when I turn off switch nine, so off state of switch nine, I want to turn off my virtuals. That's it. So now when I activate the button, we're gonna get the cycle. When I turn off this button, the cycle will stop. Simple. This can be done um, on a light bar or a inner edge, as I said. If you have a light bar and a inner edge in your configuration, you can use the same virtuals to do your cycle. You would just select your inner edge instead and do the programming on there if you have a three pattern um, cycle desired. All right, that's it guys. Thank you very much.